Mason. Is Alberta getting shafted? Three choices. Yes, no, or I don't care. Yes, no, or I don't care. Your three choices on the question are as, as auto as shafting Albertans. And so you can go to your phone, go to Twitter, at Charles Adler, and you'll see it right up very, very close to the top of my, my Twitter feed. So our prime minister is in Argentina for the G20 summit. Most people listening to this radio station Regardless of which this radio station, the radio station is all across the country, whichever radio station you're on or online, you know by now that the Prime Minister in Argentina today signed the document, the new NAFTA, each country, the US, Mexico, Canada, calling it something else, but we all know what we're talking about, the new North American trade deal, okay? So he signed it, and that's getting headlines, that's, that's fine. What's not getting headlines is something he did earlier in Argentina, he was attending a panel discussion on gender equality, one of his favorite topics, where he spoke about the, and I'm not kidding you, he spoke about the social impact of male construction workers on the female population in rural environments. I want you to hear it right from the horse's mouth. You might not say, oh, what does a gender lens have to do with building this new highway or this new uh, pipeline or something? Well, uh, you know, there are gender impacts. When you bring construction workers into a rural area, there are social impacts because uh, they're mostly male construction workers. How are you adjusting and adapting to those? That's what the gender lens in GBA plus budgeting is all about. These are all things that we've been doing, not to be nice or to be better or to be moral, but to be smart about getting the very best out of all of our citizens and making the very best out of our economy. I only wish we could get smart. I'm using his words, okay? Let's talk about being smart. Let's talk about being smart on this discussion of the social impact of male construction workers in a rural part of the country. Now, I realize... And we should all realize the Prime Minister was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. It's not just a cliche. It's true. Whether you talk about the silver spoon, the, the trust fund, he was born successful. He was born on third base. Didn't have to work to get there. All right. Maybe he takes certain things for granted. But just to drill down on the social impact of the male construction worker in rural Canada. What is that social impact? Well, Prime Minister, there is a social impact called survival. That's right. Those male jobs in rural Canada put food, food, something you've always taken for granted, food on the table of men and women, women, and boys and girls, girls, I'm doing your gender thing, okay, Prime Minister? No matter how insulting I find it, I'm using your gender lens. Women and girls are being benefited by those jobs being done. It's a social impact. It's called food on the table. It's called survival. Because not everyone was born with a trust fund. Not everyone was raised at 24 Sussex. Not everyone had nannies and guaranteed economic security. Ask yourself this, Mr. Prime Minister. Serious question. How many people in this country can look you in the eye and say, you know what? Doesn't matter if I ever have to work again. Doesn't matter if I ever have a job. It doesn't matter if my kids ever find a job. It just doesn't matter because I'm taken care of. I was born that way. Just wanted to perhaps offer you what you call some smarts. Before you give us lectures on gender lenses and putting everything through the gender lens, why don't you just get some things done which would help all genders? Balance a budget, secure a border, and build the pipe. Build a pipeline. Stop shafting Albertans and the rest of the country. Because this isn't 
a panel discussion in Argentina. This is reality in Canada. Mr. Prime Minister, I want you to hear from a Canadian named Dwayne. He's had a very, very tough day. A tougher day than you've ever had, a tougher day than you will ever have. And yes, this too has to do with jobs done mostly by men in rural Canada. Mr. Prime Minister, please listen to Dwayne the Albertan. In my job, I have to lay off 25% of my workforce oh, man. right before Christmas. Man, what, what kind of what kind of work are you in? Because we've been talking about the oil field services oil. guys on the on the front oil. lines. That's where you are. Oil. and I love my guys. And, and you know what? I gotta lay off. I gotta lay off twenty five percent of these guys. They make yeah. They make between seventy thousand and a hundred grand a year. I gotta get rid of three million dollars. And you know what? My bosses are saying three million dollars like they're not people. Well, Dwayne, I can tell. You know, you know what? And and, and 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 you know what? All you people that voted for the NDP and don't think they're totally pulling this over your eyes, and you're thinking, "Oh, well, you know, well is all is well," and Kenny is the devil. You know what? Tell that to all the guys I got to lay off today, because they're going home to tell their wives tonight. Christmas is over, and you know what? We got nothing because seventy thousand dollars a year in this environment is nothing. Is absolutely nothing. And my bosses are trying to save other people's jobs. They're not trying to save their own because you know what? We're management. We've taken a forty percent pay cut so we can keep as many people employed as we can. And today I got to break people's hearts and I got to tell them that you're no longer useful to us because of money. And, and, and this is what the, so this is what socialism does. Everybody, you know, they're chasing out investment. This is Venezuela coming and you don't think it's happening and it can't happen in Canada folks. Open your eyes because this is just the beginning. Wow! And you know what? This is the most. This is the worst day of my life because I gotta get rid of friends. This is the worst day of my life. I gotta get rid of friends. Dwayne the Albertan, Mr. Prime Minister. I know you come from a different background than most of us. Much different than Dwayne's, and much different than mine, and much different than ninety-nine percent of people who are listening. I get that. So please listen to Dwayne a couple of times, three, four, five times maybe. It'll penetrate eventually. I just, I I have faith it will. Dwayne called in to Danielle Smith's show earlier today on Global News Calgary, CHQR 770. Station I'm darn proud to be associated with, as you know. And we're on CHQR tonight, along with a bunch of others. And I'm just sitting here thinking about Dwayne. Here's what I want to do. And this is something I think that our audience can get involved with. We're always talking about the people who are laid off. Okay, that's important. Whether they're in Oshawa or Fort McMurray or Calgary or Edmonton or wherever. They all matter. And our hearts are with all of them. We don't talk often enough about the Dwaynes. Guys, mostly, who've got to deliver the bad news. And I'm not talking about guys who are in office towers a gazillion miles away. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about guys like Dwayne, middle managers, who love their friends Yeah, they happen to be employees, but they're family, they're friends, they're kin. They might as well be blood. Sometimes you get close to people who aren't blood, but you're closer to them than you are to blood. You know what I'm talking about.